the tenth chapter. The Rishi said, Nisumba was killed and Sumba lying down on the ground could not bear this insult to his kingly honour. With uncontrollable anger, he cried out at Devi, O oh, weak and wicked Durga, do not be proud. You are fighting with the help of somebody else. The Devi said, I am alone and single in this world. Who is there other than me here? See all these many fighting with you are myself. Now look at me. As soon as Devi uttered these words, all those appearances of many entered into the body of Durga and there was none but Devi, the single. Devi again said, Be calm, I alone with the power of immanence and omnipresence appeared as many, but now I stand single and have withdrawn myself into myself. The sage said, Again, Sumba got up from the ground and raged a fierce war with Durga. It was the fiercest of all fights. Like butterfly upon fire, Sumba fell on Durga. The whole world did not know what would happen and was eagerly watching the result of the battle. Whatever astras there could be in all the three worlds were thrown at Ambika by the powerful Sumba. As if in play, Durga swallowed them all and burned some to ashes by her mere hamkara. Sumba took up his bow and arrows, shaktis, swords and missiles. Devi tumbled down the whole of his chariot together with the horses and charioteer. Sumba fell on the ground and finding that he had no chariot, no horses and no charioteer, he fell upon Durga with the dreadful Mudagra Astra. Devi smashed the Astra immediately with her arrows. Then, with his clenched fist raised up, he came to break the head of Durga. He hit on her breast with force. Devi beat his chest with her mace and he fell again senseless on the ground. Regaining consciousness, he again stood up bold and soaring to the sky up above and he poured many Astras. Devi also jumped into the sky and without any support, she fought with him and smashed him down to the earth. The Siddhas and Devas were surprised to witness such a scene in their life. Again, Sumba raised his fist and ran towards Devi to hit her. Devi put an end to his life with her Trisula by breaking his chest into two. He lay dead on the ground, shaking the earth and the ocean when he fell. The sky became clear. The devas felt happy. The whole world felt joyous when the wicked Daitya was killed. Gandharvas sang. The celestial Apsaras rejoiced and danced. The trees began to smile. The rivers flew fluently. The ocean became calm. The fire burned happily. The atmosphere became fresh. The earth got rid of her burden. The wind blew with joy, the sun shone bright.